All right, it's 11.43. I was up decently late last night editing, but it's time to leave, man. I got like 15 minutes to get packed up and get out of here. Um, it's time to go to the airport. Go to Ohio. All right, I just ran all the way across the fucking airport, and the gate was closed, so they... I had to beg her to reopen it, <laughs> and they had to escort me on the plane. All right, super fast, super fast flight, blah, blah, blah. super fast flight. I slept the whole way. Um, I, I was worried that I was gonna be uncomfortable because I was sweating, but that apparently went away. So I, I passed right the fuck out. So it's nice in Ohio right now, man. The weather's weather's not bad. The weather's not bad. All right, just finished editing the vlog. Uh, landed a couple hours ago. Got home, edited. Said hi to my mom and my dad. Yo, what's up? 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 Yeah, there you go. Uh, so, edited my video. Now we're heading to. Are we, do we decide on BW threes? Oh god, the brightness is going. All right, now we're heading to B dubs. <laughs> You better hold on. You're gonna fall. Fireman slide. Look at they pulled a chill. All right. So yesterday was a hectic ass day. So um, Uriel woke up at like 8 a.m. We're this is in back in New York, right? So it's kind of weird because I'm in Ohio now, and it's just, it's weird to think that I woke up yesterday in New York. But woke up in New York um, at about 11. I slept in a bit. Um, and then I was out of my hotel room by 12 because my flight was at 3. With like public transport and everything, it'd take about an hour to get from the hotel to JFK. Um, so I planned all that out. This is my first time ever going on a subway by myself. First time actually like understanding what I'm doing, where I'm going, which trains I'm getting on, all that bullshit. Um, I only got on the wrong train once. Only on the wrong train once. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, but anyways, I made it to JFK um, with plenty of time to spare. I went to my kiosk. Again, like I said, plenty of time to spare. Went to my kiosk, typed in my, my flight code, all that stuff, and was trying to get my um, my boarding pass, and I was trying to check my bags. And I got like a, an error screen, and it like printed out, and it's like, you need assistance, please go stand in line, blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, all right, fuck, here we go. This, this could potentially be, I've never once missed a flight. I'm like, this is gonna be my missed flight. The line took so long that I wasn't able to check my bag until after they had closed the check-in, like the check-in timer. If you don't know, 45 minutes before your flight, they don't allow you to check bags anymore. They just, it's a, it's a cutoff so that they have time to work. I like walk up and I'm like, hey, I'm trying to check my bag. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. Like we don't, we're not accepting it anymore because your flight leaves. And I've been standing in line for two hours. So then she, she like got clearance from her manager and they like had to like override the system. Like they, this looked like some movie shit. All right, did you get it? And he, he's like, all right, I'm turning it back off. And it, dude, it was look like a fucking movie, man. Got my bag in last second. Now it's time for security. The lady tells me, she's like, all right, you're at gate 32. Good luck. That's far away. And I'm like, okay. So I, I just like, I like take it and I, I start like, start like hustling a little bit. I make it to security. The line is fucking massive. So I start in the line of security when they start boarding. Work my way through security. I cut a few people. I'm not gonna lie, full disclosure, I cut a few people. Security guy came over and asked me why I was standing in line there because that's not where the line is. And I'm like, I had to bullshit my way out of that too. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I was standing in line there and now I'm just, I'm trying to get a, trying to get one of the bins. And he's like, he's like staring at me. He knows I'm fucking lying. So I finally get through security. And like I said, I'm on gate 32, which I'm assuming it's just, it's right, it's right there, right? Well, there's like the split off, right? It's like gates one through like 30 are that way. And gates 31 through 42 are that way. And I'm like, gate 32, that's that's my gate. This It's gonna be right there. So I start walking the way that I'm supposed to go. It's not right there. These motherfuckers numbered it backwards. The first terminal was 42. So I had to, I had to run past 40, 42, 41, 40, 39, 30, all those, all of them. I had to run past all of them and run down finally i made it to i made it to 32 my flight boards 
at 320. And I'm I'm sp I'm sprinting. You ever see that guy that runs through the airport? That was me. Not only that, but I had my 10 pound laptop in my bag with everything in it. So I'm like I'm like sprinting. My bag is like bouncing, hitting me in the ass. I almost tripped like eight times. I'm not kidding. Like I kicked the floor. You know, you know when you know you're about to trip, you kick the floor. I did that like eight times on the moving belt thing. So finally made it to gate 32. They close the gates 10 minutes before it leaves. And I say, is this to Cleveland? And she says, uh, Cleveland's closed. I, I had so much adrenaline going from just sprinting across the airport that I really, I just didn't understand that. Literally no part of me was ready to believe that. I, like, you know that, that like ball in the back of your throat that you get when shit just goes down? Is there any way, any way you can let me on at all? Thank God for this lady's fuck up. Cause you know what she does? She looks over to her manager who is right next to her. And she goes, I can't let you in. It's up to her. And like points at her manager. Boy, when I, when I left, I guarantee she got reamed because her manager goes, she like whispers in her. She's like, you don't, you don't tell people that. You don't tell people that when the gates close. And I, and I, I just, I look, I look that manager dead in the eye. God bless that woman. I look her dead in the eye and I'm like, I'm like, you gotta let me on. I'm, sw I'm sweating profusely at this point. I'm like, I just ran all the way across the airport. I looked at her dead in the eye and I'm like, listen, I wasn't, I wasn't late to the airport. There was a super long line at check-in. I sprinted all the way across the airport to make it here. I'm trying to go home and visit my family. I'm like, you got, you gotta let me on. You gotta let me on. I'm like, it is 3.07. It says the gates closed 10 minutes early. There's 13 minutes. You gotta let me on. She's like, no, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. And I just sit there and I stay, I swear to God, it felt like 20 minutes. I sat there and I stared at that woman right in the eye. I'm just like staring at her. She will not make eye contact with me at this point. She's just looking at her computer and I'm still just standing there just like this. She calls over like this, the security guy and she's like, uh, can you escort him to Cleveland? And I'm like, thank you so much. She's like, she's like, just go, just go. I'm like, thank you so much. She's like, go, you go. I'm like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And, uh, and he walked me. He walked me out to the gate. They, I, they legit had to, like, escort me. Everybody on the way is like, they're stopping me. They're like, are you allowed to be? And we're like, yeah, we're good. We're good, lady. And I'm just like, I'm just, oh, boy. Boy. And then I, I hop on that airplane. I was so out of breath. I'm just sitting there. <sighs> so that was my travel day. Um, I know. I'm sorry. I suck at telling stories. Um, tomorrow's vlog, we are going to be going to the wedding. That's why I came to Ohio. I came back home to visit my family and uh, also go see some old friends. They're getting hitched. Do people say hitched anymore? They're getting married. Um, so I'm going to a wedding tonight. So um, you guys will be seeing that. But I appreciate you guys watching the video. If you guys enjoyed, like I said, feel free to leave a thumbs up and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Peace out, guys. Goodbye. Refuse to